Hi, my name is Malik Gilani. I'm the founding executive director of Chicago's Silk Road Rising. I founded Silk Road Rising in 2002 with my life partner and our artistic director, Jamil Khoury. Hi, I'm Jamil Khoury. I am the founding artistic director of Chicago's Silk Road Rising. Uh, Silk Road is a playwright-focused theater. Why the Silk Road? Uh, the Silk Road refers to the trade routes that stretched from China to Syria, if you're talking the land routes, uh, Japan to Italy, if you include the sea routes. In addition to trade, of which obviously silk was an important commodity, there was a great storyteller tradition. So we thought, here is an interesting historical legacy. Wouldn't it be interesting to use that as a, a sort of metaphor and a geographic guide for a 21st century American theater company? Silk Road Rising creates live theater and online videos that tell stories through primarily Asian American and Middle Eastern American lenses. In, it, in representing communities that intersect and overlap, we are advancing a polycultural worldview. Our home at 77 West Washington Street in the historic Chicago Temple Building, in the heart of Chicago's Loop Theater District from the congregation and leadership at the First United Methodist Church of Chicago has been home to theatrical productions that have gone on to win awards and launch careers of playwrights, actors, and other theater artists. When I heard about Silk Road's um, mission to kind of do works um, from, the, to kind of link East Asian works to South Asian, to uh, Middle Eastern and uh, Armenian and, and Mediterranean, um, I really thought, you know, this is maybe the wave of the future because um, it's no longer sufficient to be kind of in our individual ghettos, that we really need to be seeing how th these experiences relate to one another. As the trauma of 9-11 was unfolding around us, a narrative was being shaped in the public sphere that posited East and West on a permanent collision course. This is a cultural company with a very, very strong message towards uh, the rest of the community. This is a way to get a glimpse into how other groups of people think and why they think that way and how they're different, but even more so, how we're all really the same. All these events are about, all these plays are about relationships and our relationships are basically the same. We all want to have good relationships with our families, we all want to take care of our kids, uh, we all want to be successful in life, uh, and these are the things that the theater is really about. And we truly believe, and I don't think that this is coming from a naive place, that storytelling has a transcendent power to it. That storytelling can bring peoples closer together, it can build empathy, it can create understanding, and it becomes a vehicle for dialogue, and I mean in all directions. I don't mean one party speaking to or speaking at another. Theater is a forum where Ideas can be expressed, new ideas, foreign ideas, ideas that are provocative and challenging or uncomfortable <laughs> can be presented. It allows our minds then to, to mull over many of the themes that are presented on stage and think about how they are affecting our own lives or how are we going to respond to that situation if we're confronted with it. The stories that Malik and Jamil have brought to the stage at Silk Road Theatre Project explain the human condition. If we are going to become a global city, a really global city that embraces all different types of cultures, religions, ways of thinking, we need to sustain this type of theater. We felt it our duty as Americans and as citizens to fight this clash of civilizations narrative by developing an institution that is committed to telling our stories in our own words, using our experiences as inspiration for theater. We would represent ourselves, and in doing so, we would create a counter narrative. Silk Road Theatre Company really stands out because I think that it has been the one company that really has pushed the issue. Why is it that when a woman is
is beat up in, in, in like uh, New Jersey or Texas. It is seen as this domestic matter and not a reflection on you as a man, an American man or this country. But when a woman is abused in the Arab world, it suddenly becomes this, this indictment of the region and, and an excuse to make sweeping statements. There is a voice that it um, provides that nobody else really has touched at all. As a South Asian, I, I definitely feel uh, represented at Silk Road. Merchant on Venice was a, was a phenomenal uh, play that I bought the house to bring my clients and my colleagues at work. You know, when, when you look at how the Silk Road Theatre Project has evolved over, over the last few years and, and really you know, how it was set up in response to 9-11, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, um, uh, mission, it's a wonderful uh, vision. Our skins share the same hue, our families the same village, our loyalties the same flag. Why do I participate in the Silk Road Theatre Project? because I want to uh, support the mission and vision of this company. It was also very important that Silk Road Rising be a home uh, for feminist and queer voices within Silk Road communities, and that feminist and LGBT uh, experiences and um, narratives would be very much a part of the fabric of our storytelling. The Silk Road Theatre Project has contributed quite a bit socially, politically, to, to Chicago in, in many different ways. And one of them is it's giving voice to Asian and Middle Eastern actors and playwrights, as well as the women's voices. A lot of times, especially in these cultures, women's voices aren't expressed. They're just kind of a side note to history and, and to people's stories. Look, everyone, Jew and a Palestinian in love. The fact of the matter is, is that you are ashamed to be a lesbian, and instead of confronting that shame, you hide behind your culture. I'm going to fight for gay rights in Palestine, and we don't even have our own state! One of the nice things about the work that we produce is that we try to tell the whole story you know, from, from everyone's point of views. And we find in some of these cultures, and some of these historical periods, there are uh, people, there are characters that you know, perhaps we don't think of uh, normally in terms of looking at this part of the world. Uh, women, children, gays and lesbian, uh, they all had a voice, they all had a place, they all had a role in these cultures. And Silk Road makes sure that we hear their stories as well. Recently, we've expanded our reach to a more national and global audience through our online video plays, which are in addition to the award-winning work presented on our stage. I also believe that as theater artists, we have to continue to confront the new and embrace the new, which is what Silk Road Rising is doing in terms of offering online video plays. We have uh, the internet, and as a kind of 21st uh, century medium, it allows us uh, a means of rethinking how we do theater. And what Silk Road Rising is doing is presenting these online video plays. The first is both and, and several things happen in presenting a play like that. You reach a wider audience, you're not limited by geography, you're not limited uh, as much by finances, all, all kinds of things open up. There's also a permanence, if you will, of being uh, presented on the internet. People across the city and across the globe access our work because we're committed to being an accessible organization. There's a struggle between information and misinformation. Changemaking requires a commitment to telling truth and providing insights. We're using the tools that are available to us to put out a counter-narrative against hate. And we make much of our work free and accessible so that the largest number of people can participate in changemaking. Please join us on this ride.